of Dr. Seuss is magical and whimsical, and I wanted to be a part of the Lorax because I love the character. Oh, hi, Ted. Oh, hey, Audrey. Did your ball land in my backyard again? A model airplane, this time. I've always really been drawn to people with impossible dreams. And Audrey is a daydreamer. She dreams of things that are gone. Do you want to see something cool? Oh, come on. Whoa, this is amazing. What are those? She draws this mural of these truffula trees on her wall. Those things have been long forgotten by everyone else. Those are trees, real ones. And people said that the touch of their tufts was softer than anything, even silk. And they smelled like butterfly milk. Wow, what does that even mean? Everyone in the town of Sneedville go around in this blissful, unaware state of not knowing that there's something better. What I love about Audrey is she has this awareness. She knows it could be better, and the world they live in is missing something. What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree growing in my backyard. I love the fact that Audrey takes the chance and, and goes along with Ted on this adventure. The last truffula seed. You need to plant it, Ted. I won't let you down. Along the way, he figures out that what's important to her is actually important to him, too. Ted, what is this about? It's about this. Is that? Yes, the last truffula seed. And you're going to help me plant it right in the middle of town. There are these characters going through this whimsical, quirky world, hoping just for the chance to get what they want. Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. <laughs>